As a starting point, Evolution MX offers seven core module areas of functionality. Contract ledger, or job costing, is where contracts are defined initially. Optional budgetary information can be recorded, and this includes the ability to import this information from an external source, such as an Excel bill of quantities or an export from another estimating system. Actual costs and revenue are posted against the contracts, allowing you to easily check upon the progress of a particular contract in terms of its um, cost versus budget variance and its profitability, and also to report upon the wider contract ledger. Purchase ledger is for the recording of supplier invoices and the payments made against those invoices. Similarly, the sales ledger can be used to record client invoicing and also payments received, but can be configured further to allow for the raising of applications for payment and also for the recording of client valuations and certifications. The subcontractor's ledger is dedicated to the requirements of subcontractors, whether they be labour only or bona fide supply fixed subcontractors. It's fully supply compliant with the CIS scheme in the UK and the RCT scheme in the Republic of Ireland and it supports the processing of subcontractor invoices, timesheets, self-bill arrangements and also applications for payment that could optionally go through an authorisation or a sign-off process involving the commercial teams of the quantity surveyor and the contract manager. The systems are online in terms of being able to verify subcontractors' details against HMRC and also for the submission of the CIS return, the, the um, online filing. Payroll is fully supporting all of the legislative requirements um, as determined by HMRC in the UK and also Ross in the Republic of Ireland. It can allow for full gross to net calculations, but also for the costing of employee information against particular jobs. On the financial side, your nominal ledger accounts for all of the journal entry side of things that are required over and above what's happening elsewhere in the, the rest of the system. It also reports the trial balance level, but also onto management reports. And there's also VAT reporting on there, including the support of making tax digital or MTD submissions. The cash book finishes off the seven core modules by accounting for any additional payments and receipts that need to be made, as well as bank reconciliation.